I now give the floor to the representative of Institute of Mountain Hazard and Environment, Chinese Academy of Science. Excellencies, uh, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Institute, uh, Institute of Mountain Hazards and the Environment of Chinese Academy of Sciences, it is my great pleasure to share our latest achievements on disaster risk reduction, especially the International Conference on Silk Road Disaster Risk Reduction and Sustainable Development, which just finished in Beijing on 12th of May, which is very successful and rewarding regional contribution. In accordance with the Sendai Framework and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, Chinese Academy of Sciences co-hosted CIDRA Conference 2019 with CAST, UNEP, UNDRR, ENSO, along with over 30 international partners, which brought together around 1,000 participants from over 45 countries and regions, including over 100 government representatives, academicians, presidents of universities and in institutions, heads of international organizations and private sectors, media and publishers, all dedicated to contributing towards a safe, green, resilient Silk Road. Among the many achievements, CIDRO Conference have reached the consensus on Beijing's statement, which is a scientific, a technical, and a political dialogue for the better implementation of the Sendai Framework and then the 2030 Agenda. The conference also saw the launch of Alliance of International Science Organizations on Disaster Risk Reduction, which shares strong interest in DRR and a strong geographic focus on the Silk Road regions. This alliance shares the vision of the UN landmark uh, framework agreements, including Sendai Framework, 2030 Agenda, and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, aiming to form a regional collaboration platform for the endeavor. The alliance emphasis on enhancing disaster the mitigation and response through multinational and multidisciplinary collaboration, such as disaster with healthcare science, encouraging partnership with the engineering community, enhancing cooperation between natural and social sciences, focusing on higher education, contributing to disaster proofing and resilient infrastructure, connecting with existing networks as well as private sectors. The alliance also welcomed new partners to join us. The Atlas of Silk Road Disaster Risk also presented its final draft on the conference, which vividly illustrates the physical and the social conditions, disaster characterizes, and the typical disaster events along the Silk Road. Visualizing the result of a disaster risk assessment at multiple scales. For communication and advocacy in regional level, CIDRA collaborated with social media to present a, a photo exhibition and a WeChat blog on the coexistence between disasters and human civilization, arousing public awareness on DRR. The blog attracted over 160,000 reads, 3,500 likes from all around China within two days. Overall, the conference attracted over 100 media coverages, front page in national media, government, uh, governmental, academic, and in websites, contributing to the regional visibility. Here, we would like to reaffirm our commitment to implement the Sendai framework and the agenda in our best efforts. It is time for actions now. Thank you, Chair. Thank you.